hello wordpress people so in this video we are going to talk about how to add a new column in wordpress post table so this is not the database table we are talking about we are talking about this post table so we are going to add new column into this table so let's jump into the code So now for this I'm gonna use my custom plugin so let me show you my custom plugin first so this is my custom plugin I have added and what detail we are going to add in a column so i already created a meta box for that so i will add a new metadata and that metadata we will display over here in a column so let me show you the metadata so let's edit one of the post and if you don't know how to create metadata I will provide the link into the description section please go and watch out that first so here is the meta box I have created and in the meta box I have added this field called are you okay and value is yes or no and whatever value we select that value will be displayed in that column so we will be adding column name are you okay so let's begin the code before jumping into the code if you are new to Gutenberg development then I would suggest to watch or review this website called the wpvoyage.com this has very good tips and tricks regarding Gutenberg development and Gutenberg editor so please go and check out this site thank you code so i'm gonna open my wordpress repo this is my custom plugin includes admin.php i'm gonna open because we are doing admin stuff so i will open admin.php so how to add column so adding column in the wordpress table post table is so much easy all we need to use is these two hooks one is filter one is action so this hook is to use to add column in the post table and this another hook is to display values inside that column so let's add column first so I'm gonna use this hook and I will search in the Google I will go to the official documentation and then I will see an example so I will copy this and add it to my admin.php file so here I will change this post type to post and I will change some of the slug um, prefix over here and then so this hook has one parameter which is array of column it is an array so I will pass that over here and I will add my column so I will say are you okay this will be an identifier and I'm gonna add the label are you okay 
can then return the columns. So once you add this, your column will start appearing in this table. So let's refresh this. So as you can see, a uh, column is now appearing. And now let's add value to the column. So to add value, we have to use this action. So I'm gonna again search to the official doc. So it has one thing, column name and post ID. So let's do action. Sorry, let's add action for that do action. So add action BWP are you okay so we have one and two arguments so I'll add the priority and the argument So I will copy this column name and post ID and pass it over here. So let's check. So our column name is this. So we will check the condition if sorry. If our column name is this, as of now, let's just echo simple string and let's see what happens. So our value is appearing over here. So before doing that let me edit couple of posts and i will set the value for that meta field so let's do that and meanwhile i will get the value from the database So as this data stores in the post table, uh, sorry, post meta table. So I will use this function, get post meta. So we are getting post ID from this hook. So let's use that. Our key is this. And it's a single value. So I'll Say it true. Okay, now let's set no to this post. So for CSS in block, we said no, and for Ramayana by API, we have yes. So now I will simply echo, echo this. Let's refresh this. And as you can see, we have our values inside our new column. Now this has blank value. We haven't stored anything. So I will say whenever So if this is empty, then say no, otherwise keep whatever we have. So now it will display no to all.
so we have no printed in the each column now each row sorry so um now let's go to this pages table and let's confirm our column is not displaying over here because we added this for post post type only let's say i want to display this for pages as well so i will copy the post type of the page and i will put it over here like this and let's refresh this it should be appearing over here as well yes but as we have no value for this and no meta box added for pages so it won't display anything but yeah we can do something like this so i will remove this and one more thing so whatever column we add it also applies over here so we we can hide or display using the screen option as well so this is the video guys if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video